what do you want to be when you grow up is a question we ask children a lot. If you asked children at a family reunion, they'd say we ask it far too often. And I'd argue we don't ask it often enough because we don't ask it of adults. Possibly this is because children give far better answers than adults do. The younger the child, the better answer you get. If you ask a six-year-old what they want to be when they grow up, they might tell you they want to be a princess unicorn marine biologist. And why shouldn't they be all of that? Why shouldn't they be everything they want to be? As we grow older, the answers narrow down and become a good deal less creative. And almost always, they speak to our professions. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an artist. I want to be an actor. What we want to be grows up describes what we do, not who we are and who we wish to become. And maybe that's why we don't ask adults. We already have an established profession. And if we've chosen well, we're happy with it. We don't want to change it. Uh, we are doing the thing we wanted to do when we grow up and we are in fact a grown up. We are an adult, we don't need to be asked this question. But we do, because we're not everything who we want to be, even if we're what we want to be. Perhaps in your synagogue growing up, perhaps here at Temple Emmanuel, certainly at the synagogue I grew up in, there was a candy man. This was the guy, it's usually a guy, not always, sometimes it's a woman, they're always a senior citizen, and they always carry candies in their pockets to slip to the children who had behaved themselves in synagogue. And everybody knew you could go up to the candy man after services and end up with a Werther's original, which we loved when the candy man gave it to us. Why don't we say, I want to be the candy man when I grow up? I want to provide sweetness to the people around me. Maybe you had a neighbor like I did with a snowblower, who when they went out to snowblow their own driveway, did all their neighbors as well. Not because they had to or because they were paid to, but because they had the tool and they were generous of heart and they didn't like to see their neighbors struggling to shovel. Maybe I want to grow up to be the snowblower guy, snowblower lady, I suppose. I want to be the kind of person I dream of being. Kinder, more generous, more inspired perhaps than I am now. And in this season of Elul, it's important for us to remember that we are all growing up in a process. We are never fully grown until we're done. And that day should be a long day away. Why don't you join the conversation? If you click on the link below, what do you want to be? No, who do you want to be when you grow up? And I would like to share with you this prayer. All I am, all I have, all I'll become are present in this moment. Warmth and breath, love and compassion, silence and celebration, everything here, all gifts present. What then, God of all being, what then of my choices? What will I make of the space between this breath and the next? Will I bring laughter and light, hope and faith, wonder and strength? Will I stand in humble service with all my brothers and sisters? Maker of heaven and earth, grant us the wisdom to choose lives of grace, of vision and understanding, to see each moment as a choice to bless our companions with strength and wisdom, with honor and respect. Blessed are the gentle moments of choice and growth.